going to talk about how to find out how many elements are in a set. So let n of s be the number of elements in a given set s. As an example, if s is the set containing of the numbers 1, 2, and 5, then n of s is going to be 3, 3 elements in s. The law of inclusion-exclusion says that we can count the number of elements in the union, n of s union t, where s and t are sets, by counting the number of elements in each individual set, n of s plus n of t, and subtracting the overlap, the number of elements in the intersection. So we're counting the sets, and then we're subtracting the overlap. We'll look at two examples. The first example are these two sets here. So if S is the set of letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and T is the set of letters A, E, F, G, H, then we'll use the law of inclusion and exclusion to see how these numbers all relate together. S intersect T in this case is going to be A, E, and F, the only things that occur in both sets. So the number of elements in S union T has to be the number of elements in S, which is 6, plus the number of elements in T, which is 5, minus the number of elements in the intersection, which is 3. So 6 plus 5 minus 3 is going to give us 8 elements. And with these types of sets, we can check this really easily, because we can write down exactly what the union has to be. S union T is this set here, which has exactly 8 elements. As a more interesting example, let's take a look at this here. The pizza place received orders for pizza and wings, and we have data on what people ordered what. But we are missing some data. We don't know how many people ordered the wings. And so if we let P be the set of people that ordered pizza, and so N of P will be the number of pizza orders, and W the set of people who ordered wings, so N of W is the number of wing orders, then the law of inclusion exclusion tells us that N of the union, N of P union W, is N of P plus N of W minus n of the intersection. The elements in the union are going to be the people that ordered either pizza or wings, and in the intersection will be the people that ordered both. So we start looking at the numbers. The union will be the 85 orders, pizza 63, wings we don't know, but we have 27 people that ordered both. And so the n of w is actually what we're trying to find, the number of people that ordered wings in their order. So if we solve this for n of w, we have 85 minus 63 plus 27, which is 49. So 49 people ordered wings with their order.